Alright people, welcome back to the card review. So, apparently Toons are getting some new cards, you know, that that's one of the market types where everybody's like, man, Toons is once and Toons needs some new support. Toons, 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 it's like, oh my god, like, that archetype is so old, like, why would they ever go back and give Toons some support? Well, apparently they did, so I guess, what do I know, right? Anyway, this is Toon Kingdom, so... If you guys remember from the anime, Pegasus had Toon Kingdom, and, you know, it was just like, man, why don't we have Toon Kingdom? All we have is the shitty-ass Toon World, I gotta pay down thousand life points, and then, it, you know, it doesn't do anything. It's just, it's just the Toon World, like, this card's dumb. But, finally, you get Toon Kingdom, which, in my opinion, is a much, much, much better card than Toon World. So, we're gonna go ahead and go over it. So, Toon Kingdom is actually a field spell. Yes, field spell, not a continuous spell. Field spell, nice. So you can go ahead and search it up with terraforming. So that totally helps your consistency of your tune plays. And it has a better effect. So this card when this card is activated, banish the top three cards from your deck face down. So the problem with that is that you banish those cards face down, they're pretty much gone out of the duel. You cannot touch them mostly. I think maybe you can t touch them with like burial or something, but yeah, they're pr they're pretty much gone, you know. I, 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 I don't even think that you're even allowed to look at them. Yeah, I don't even think you're out even allowed to look at them because it's kind of like with that, uh, I don't remember which ghost trick, but, you know, it banishes your shit face down. So I don't even, technically, I don't even think that you're allowed to be like, oh, well, well you know, what did I go ahead and, you know, banish off the top of my deck? Like, I don't even think you could do that. But, uh, I think that would actually equate to a game loss in a tournament state. But if you're taking tunes to a tournament, especially a high tournament with judges and stuff and not just your locals, you're, you're doing it wrong. But, you know, it's nice that tunes get some more support. Anyway. This card name becomes Toon World while it is on the field, so there you go. It's, it, it's Toon Kingdom that it counts as Toon World. Alright. Toon Monster you control cannot be targeted by your opponent's card effects. Alright, so that's totally fine. You know, you know, Toons can bust out some nice big old monsters, so uh, having your tones, your Toons being, can't be targeted, period, by card effects. So spells, traps, monster effects. You cannot target the Toon, so that, you know, you cannot, you know, Ring of Destruction tune. You cannot compulse the tune. I don't know why you would do that, but you cannot compulse the tune. You know, you can still bomb list the tune. You can still, uh, you know, the bomb list doesn't target, but, you know, you cannot castell the tune. You cannot 101 the tune. You cannot, you know, cannot be targeted. That's totally. If a tune monster you control would be destroyed by a battle or by card effect, you can banish one card from me for each of those monsters from the top of your deck face down instead. So, pretty much. You know, Toon Monster, Monster, so even if it's multiple monsters, so let's say you have a whole bunch of Toons, your opponent goes Regeki, you can just be like, alright, well, I have five Toons, so I'm going to go ahead and mail five cards off the top of my deck face down to make it so sure that my Toons cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effect. So, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. I'd say my own, and that's it, that's it, that's the end of the effect. I'd say my only complaint is that it doesn't protect itself. That I, That's the big thing. So, you know, you can have this as your field spell. You're, you can summon all your tunes, and you're like, well, my tunes can't be targeted, and if you destroy them by battle by card effect, I can just melt the top of my deck. My tunes are invincible. They cannot die, because I have tune world on the field, and as long as I have tune world, I'm fine. And your opponent just goes, all right, cast tail, detach to spend that uh, tune Kingdom back to your deck, and then that's gone. Your all your tunes, except for the ones that aren't destroyed. With when when tune world's on the field, go ah, I'm dying. I'm melting, melting. What a cruel world, world. I wish there was a tune world, but there isn't. And now I'm dead. But so yeah, because it doesn't protect itself. It protects itself, you know. That'd be kind of you know interesting, but it doesn't. So you know, all your opponent needs to do is pretty much cast Stella, and you know, cast Stella's in the toolbox, easy access to it, and. There goes all your tunes. <laughs> now, it's good that you can go ahead and increase your consistency. You know, uh, you can run, you know, your tune table of contents, which can search this. And you can run, you know, terraforming, which can also search this. Uh, I'd say this card totally replaces tune world, most definitely. You don't have to pay a thousand life points. Just, you know, best top cards off your deck. And you get your, you know, your tunes to not be targeted by card effects. And if they're destroyed by a card effect, you can just go ahead and banish the top card of your deck. Uh, to have them not be destroyed by battle by card effect, so much better than Toon World, but they're still tunes though. That, that's the problem. They're still tunes. So uh, do I think they're gonna be you know top tier relevant anything? No, but it's nice to go ahead and see you know 
old cards from the original series finally get made, you know? Uh, it's Knights and Dragons and Legends. There'll be Knights and Dragons and Legends 2. We're seeing, you know, um, interesting things with Critias, and hey, Toons get something too, you know? Now, whether this is uh, just because they want to go ahead and do these cards, or maybe does it have something to do with the... You know, the net, the movie coming out in 2016, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh's 20th anniversary. They said something about, you know, with Yuga, y Yuga, who the fuck's Yuga, hello? Yugi and Kaiba. You know, it's kind of, I, I accidentally combined, you know, Yugi and Kaiba's name to Yuga. All right. I don't know who that guy is. There you go. There's new Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, oh, I'm going to get this video copyrighted because I spoke about the, the next, 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 next Yu-Gi-Oh character. <laughs> uh, but no, seriously. Uh, it's this 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 card's fine. This is this is what tunes needed, but they're still tunes. <laughs> anyway, tell me what you guys think about Toon Kingdom in the comment section below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Card Review. So thanks for watching, thanks for all support, and I will see you guys next week with some more cards to look at. All right, people, thanks for watching.